Hi, this is Haley from DWAP PE, and in this video I'm going to talk about positive and negative factors that affect my lifestyle. I'm also going to judge how balanced my life is and set up a goal to improve it. Children, children, you must get a lot of sleep. The most important thing your age is to get enough sleep. Now for homework today, please hand in a five-page essay on how influential American civilizations were and read the entire textbook for a quiz tomorrow. It's also really annoying for me when teachers insist we have to get a lot of sleep, but always gives a pile of homework in the end. It's as if the teachers, ta teachers are taunting us, saying, Ha ha, now you can't have any relaxing time because you have to finish this homework and sleep early too. I hate it when this happens, and it makes me all stressed out because I know I need the extra sleep, but I also want to have fun and chat with my friends. And there's also a lot of work to do. Usually I go with play a little, um, work for a long time, and then decrease my sleep time. But then these days, if I do that, I'm just a zombie at school, just going just half asleep during class, like, uh. I want to find a good way to stop this from happening from now on so that I can concentrate on my school studies more, um, have a little bit of relaxing time too, and not be a zombie at school. The clip you just saw is me being totally bored out in social studies class. I'm just staring into space, half listening to what the teacher says and half not. And I keep on moving around, changing positions where I stand, and I'm, I can't concentrate. And I think the main reason is because when the teacher is presenting his keynote presentation, he makes the room very really dark for people to see better. But then since it's dark and I'm tired then I tend to sort of nod off and sleep. Being bored in social studies class is a really big effect on my lifestyle because what other people when what they learn in school they know at home but for me I have to go home and learn and like relearn the things that I should have learned in social studies class only I was sleeping half asleep maybe I don't know only I was not concentrating so it takes more time it takes double the amount of time for me to learn what others learn at school and because of that I have this is the school library it's one of the school facilities I love most because it's filled with fascinating books that I can check out anytime the library has a big effect on my lifestyle because it makes me all happy and cheerful once I step in the quiet atmosphere I love finding good books to read The development of technology makes my time management worsen every day. Since I use the computer to do all my classwork and schoolwork, I get distracted a lot since there are many much more fun things to do on my MacBook than work and problems. Things like social networking, such as Facebook or Twitter, always waste my time when I'm trying to concentrate on my work. Since they are updated every few seconds, I tend to sort of check on it every few minutes or so. I'll admit it. I am totally addicted to Facebook. Because I spend twice the amount of time that I should take when I'm doing my homework, I sleep late and wake up to find my eyes like a panda's in, a, in the morning. However, when I'm doing my homework that night, I forget about what happened the day before and I find myself going on Facebook to check if anyone posted anything new. I hate this. It's such a bad effect on my life. And I want to change it. It's great having a pink having a computer and it's easier to do homework in some ways but I think it has more bad effects than good. I sometimes think it'll be better if school changed back their old back to their old system with good old pencil and paper. As you can see in the two comparison videos, using the internet is just so much more comfortable for me and much more quicker if I'm trying to find some information on a certain topic. I love the internet for this reason because I don't have to go searching in the library like some kind of treasure hunt for a good book or some information I can Technology is great for me because since I lived overseas, it is a great way for me to keep in touch with my friends who are living on the opposite side of the world. 
Without technology, I'd have to write letters and send them through the post office, which would take a very long time compared to emails or online chatting. Technology makes everything much more easier, and even though I'm not physically with my friends right now, it always feels like I never left them and that everything's pretty much the same. We talk a lot, and it always makes me think how technology is great and keeps friendships together. Hey, Jenny! What you doing on Saturday? Uh, uh, no nothing. Okay. So this is what usually happens when I ask my friend, oh, do you want to hang out on Saturday? What are you doing? Like that. I don't know about other countries, but in Korea, there, things are really sort of private. Um, people don't tend to tell other people, oh, I'm going to this talk on, oh, I go here on Saturdays, like that, because they're afraid that they're going to follow you and they're going to become smarter than you or something. I don't know. But since I didn't live in Korea all my life, I don't really understand this, and it really irritates me sometimes. I mean... I'm not just, I'm not trying to like copy them or anything. I just want to know if we can hang out. But then the way they sort of hide everything makes me sort of, makes me sort of feel like we're not really that close. And I don't know, it just, I want some true friend that won't be scared to tell me anything. But then some friends that I have right now, they're sort of hiding their life. And it feels like I'm talking to their fake dummy and not their true self. Hey guys, what'd you get on that social studies test? Well, I did okay. Uh, um, it was okay. Yeah. Whenever I ask my friends, hey, what'd you get on the test? Or, hey, what'd you get on this project or quiz? They always try to avoid answering me and look somewhere else, like to the ceiling or walls and go like, um, I did okay like that, even if they did really well. And they always try to sort of, I don't know, go over the question without try without giving their direct answer. This always irritates me a lot. I mean, I'm not going to tell the whole world about their score. I just want to know what they got because I thought their project was really good and it was just out of curiosity anyways. But then, I don't think they think it like that either. I think they're thinking like, what if she got better than me? What if she didn't? Ah, oh, like that. And it sort of irritates me because it feels like they're always hiding something from me and I don't really like that feeling because I want to have that kind of friendship where we both tell each other everything and it's really true and everything but then here it's sort of like there's this happy person but then behind it there's all these secrets and lies that they keep away from me so it's sort of um when i'm just talking about them about everyday life it just makes me think like are they telling me the truth or are they just trying to make the conversation flow I guess friends are annoying that way. I mean, they seem like they're telling the truth, but you never know because they're completely different people. Um, but then sometimes I really get stressed out. I mean, I just want a true and honest relationship, but things just don't seem that way. So, so this is a slideshow of me and my friends. Um, they're pictures I took when we're having fun and hanging out and friends have a really big positive effect on me because whenever I'm down or upset they can always make me laugh no matter what using their humor and it's always nice and it, I really like it how it's like whenever you're feeling oh my god what am I gonna do um, that a friend sort of encourages you you can do it and you feel like there's always that they're always gonna be there for you to catch you when you fall and it's a really nice heartwarming feeling and I love hanging out with them because we're best friends since we ha we get the same jokes and we have this telepathy between us and it's sort of cool to do that especially as time goes by and I love talking about the memories we created together and it's great and one story that made me really love my friends is um, it was a Friday and I was sick so I had to stay at the nurse for my mom to come back but my friends at lunch they realized that even though I, I came to school in, in the morning they couldn't see me so they, um, they they searched the whole school for me and eventually found me in the nurse's office sitting by myself and they all came in and and they all hugged me and say, said that they missed me and they asked where I was and they asked, um, they told me to get better soon and it made me really happy because sitting alone in the nurse's office, it may not be such a big deal, but then it was a bit lonely for me and I felt sort of sad because everyone else was chattering away in the cafeteria, but I just had to sit on the bench. But then seeing my friends there, it made me feel really nice and like I felt like I was loved and made me really thankful for the friends I have right now.
The town where I live is filled with shining neon lights that advertise for delicious and extremely unhealthy food. Whenever I need to go out to buy some school supplies, hang out with my friends, or ETC, the streets are always filled with the smells of different kinds of amazing food that are bad for your health, but also really good. Since I live in this type of neighborhood, I have to deal with this every day. If I'm hungry and I'm walking down the streets to go to my house or to visit somewhere I need to go, I find myself soon eating some french fries at Burger King or buying a donut. I hate it when this happens and sometimes I want to move to somewhere else where I don't have to worry about getting fat because of my neighborhood. I wish I could just step out and not be taunted by the many fast food shops and their blinking lights. I wish there would be a way to just entirely stop eating fast food, but I can't because the advertisements are in my face 24-7. I love my neighborhood. There are many facilities I can use, such as the pool. Nearby, there's this fitness center where I get swimming lessons every week. It doesn't take long on the car to get there, so I like going and having my hour-long lessons. After the lessons, I'm tired, but I also... Transportation like cars and buses are great and all, but they can really be annoying. For example, I hate traffic jams. They get on my nerves so much. I mean, the whole point I'm riding a car is to get to my destination quicker. However, when I'm stuck in a traffic jam, it feels like I'm not moving at all. Sometimes I just want to jump out and walk past all those cars that stopped moving ages ago. It feels like I can walk to my destination quicker than staying in a traffic jam. Being stuck in one place for like 10 minutes wastes my time greatly. I have nothing else to do in the car than just look out the window because even though we're mostly not moving, reading or watching movies in the car makes me sick. This delays everything else that's on my timetable of the day and eventually makes me sleep late, which of course, as I mentioned before, makes me a zombie in the morning. This really annoys me because I didn't do anything wrong. I just chose the wrong time to step out of my house. Traffic jams almost always makes me late to appointments too. This irritates me because I'm afraid the other person I was supposed to meet might think I'm not organized or I don't prepare well. Even though traffic jams get on my nerves, there are many great points about transportation too. For example, without the school bus, I'd have to walk to school, which would take hours and hours. It would be the same when I'm going somewhere else in the car too. It's much more quicker and much more comfortable for my legs. I also love cars and buses because it's warm in the winter and cold in the summer. If I had to walk to school at 7am when it was snowing or when it was really hot, I'd probably freeze or melt on my way. It saves a lot of time, so it allows me to do more things during my day when I use transportation. I love how I love the fact that cars were invented. Thank you. I looked at my healthy balanced lifestyle chart and after plotting the dots, I realized that the area I was most weakest on was sleep. So I decided to do my goal based on the topic of sleep so my goal is to get at least 30 minutes or one hour more sleep every day on weekdays not weekends because i sleep half the day anyways thank you for watching Haley's health adventure stay tuned for Haley's tracking videos bye